Hey, what's up guys? So in previous video, we just made this uh, nav bar white whenever we scrolled a little bit. Now in today's video, we'll be making uh, some articles here. Yeah. So for that, let me just remove these paragraphs for now. Okay, now here, let us make component name article. Yeah, so if we go here in the components, so currently the nav and navbar and navbar links are inside the layouts. Now we want that outside of the layout. Yeah, so now let's create articles.view. And we also want another component as article, which will be individual article. So it will be just view three component here. And in the articles also. So let us just say a div here. Okay. So let me articles. Okay. Now if I go here in the home index, now we can say here articles like this. Let me import that here and let me add that here in the components list. Yeah, so we have done this. Now if I come here in the browser and you can see here I am seeing this articles text here. Yeah, we also want this article to start from the same this. Yes, from the same row. So this everything that is here in our website should all should be aligned with this text. So it is currently at left. So let us add that here class. Let's add some big padding top and bottom and in the our desktop we want even bigger 20 and let's say px4 and sm px test 0 yeah so we only want padding x left and right on the small screen a mobile phone and not on the desktop because there will always there, there will already be some spaces and let, because of the container yeah auto now if i do it like this now you see here so articles is just aligned to this yeah now let us go to this articles so whenever we'll make api we'll pass the articles from here yeah for now we don't need so it will all be static so inside the articles let us add multiple articles here yeah so now what we can do here is so we can add article component now let us import that and let us use that here and there will be multiple let's say four or five articles here now we don't want only the articles here we also want the button yeah which says view all then let us add this inside another div and let us give some classes here so we'll add those classes a little bit later and just below this we want another div and inside here let us add a router link yeah and it will go to slash articles and we'll just say view all so let me just add some content here yeah and we'll see it in the browser now if i go here yeah now you can see here we are seeing this five article singles since we are adding this five yeah here and we are seeing this view all okay now let us go inside this article and let us design that so if you have seen my first video then in that video the image is on the left and the some contents are on the right so let us design that and on the left side we'll have one dip and on the right side we'll have another div yeah so we'll have an image here and we'll say public slash images slash and let's say image one okay that jpc so this image is from this images okay so let's say article here and in this div we'll have some other information 
Now, before that, uh, okay, let's see this in the browser. So you can see here we are not getting this image here. Okay, sorry guys, so I don't need to write this public here. Yeah, it's, uh, it will directly go inside the public. Now here, if we do it like this, so we are seeing these images. Now if I refresh here, yeah, we are seeing all these images here. Okay, that's good. Now let here, here in the bottom. So what we want is some div here, two divs here. So in the bottom div, we'll only be showing the time, let's say five means ago. And in the upper div, we'll be showing some other information. So we want this to be at the bottom of the image and at the top of the image, this part. So we are adding this here. So here now let us write, okay. Category name here. Now we want some title of the article, yeah. So let's say lorem seven, man. yeah. And we want some description here. So we want to say lorem, okay, give some 20 words, yeah. And let us give dash, dash, dash here. And after that, now let's see what we get here, yeah. So we are getting it like this. So category name, the title, the description, and the five minutes of all these things are being shown here like this. Okay, now let's add image to the left and these things to the right. So let's go here and give some classes here. So we can say grid and we can just say grid calls. Uh, let us give five calls, yeah, yeah and gap would be four and on the desktop gap would be let us give some 12 gaps okay now if i go here so you can see here so it is like this so let us give some call span yeah so let us expand this image to certain width and let us give some width to this data as well so now here we can do class and let us give some height as 64 or the small yeah and for sm we can give height as 400 pixel so this we have defined in our tailwind config in our previous video so if we go here in the tailwind config so we can see here 400 pixel height yeah so that's because of that we are able to give this and let us expand this to so we have here grid calls five. So let us give some, so let us give three to the image and two to the description. Okay, C O L slash B call span slash three to image. Yeah, and class span two. Now if I go here, so you can see here the images here. Yeah, so images are showing on the left and our information is showing on the right. And this space is due to this gap here. Okay, now these images are touching each other. Yeah, so if we go here in our articles, so we can see here, these are just here. So let us give some class here so that uh, they will not touch each other. So for that, what we can give is space dash y dash 8 for our mobile and for our desktop space y16. So if we do it like this so there are some space but because of this image here yeah so it is not showing uh, the image is taking the full height so let us fix that as well okay now here let us give some styling to our image we can say w dash full h dash full and ob cover so as before this object cover will not skew the image so now you can see here the spaces here yeah so before it, uh, the image, it had the width and height. So it was just overflowing through this. Now let us style this right hand side. So in our mobile view, this will be at the bottom of the image. Okay. So in the mo in our desktop, view, it will be on the right. But in our mobile view, it will be at the bottom of the image. So for that, what we can give is empty as four. Yeah. Or let's say two will be better. So we'll look in the mobile view as well. So, and here we can say flex, flex call, yeah, justify between here. Now, if I do it like this, 
it will take the whole height of this yeah and any spaces in between space between this div and this div it will just push them apart so if you see here so now you can see here it is pushing them apart okay so this time is at the bottom and this other part is at the top here so this part is doing that now let us style the category name we can say text as base it will give us the 16 pixel or one rem gray let us give some 500 yeah and if we see here by refreshing the page so you can see here a little bit of gray now let us give some styling to the title here so you can say mt1 leading tight yeah so the spaces it will just remove the spaces between them and you will just make it tighter so it will remove the line height to xl and if we go here and look yeah so it is not being saved so it is not showing here yeah so now you can see here it is showing the title like this now if i let's say remove this leading tight from here and if we see here so you can share a little bit more space in between these two text yeah now if i add that now you can see it is a little bit tighter we also want this link to be clickable so that whenever we click on this it will take us to that another page yeah detail page so let us add this here inside router link yeah and let's say for now Two will say slash a r t i c l articles slash a r t i c l article slog for now okay so we'll be making this dynamic in the future this part and let us add that here and let us give some class here we can say whenever we hover we want text primary and we can say font bold here yeah and we can say transition colors and duration we can give 300 yeah so whenever we hover it will just do a little bit of fade here so let me save here and now here if i just do a little bit hover yeah you can see here it is turning into our primary color and just a little bit of transition going on there okay now after that let us design this description part so we can give here class empty two and text gray 700 yeah we can give 700 text so you can see here it is a little bit of little bit grayer yeah it is more grayer it is not that much grayer but it is black okay after that now let us go to this five minutes ago and let us add some design to it empty one text base a little bit smaller text gray let us give 500 to it and if i go here now and now you can see here it is looking a little bit more nicer here so you can also add some timer here yeah so that uh, clock over here five minutes ago so let us go here let me copy this and here let me just and it like this yeah like this here and let me make width and height 4 and let me this flex here and item center and let us keep some margin left 2 now let's see what does it look like so you can see here so it is giving the five minutes away and a little bit of icon is here the clock icon here so it is giving a little bit of nicer look okay now our article listing design is completed and now let us design this view all yeah so it is here inside the articles so you can see it here so let us give some margin top here margin top 8 and on the sm empty dash 12 and here also let us give some classes so it will be px4 and py2 and sm px 
six okay and we'll give some primary background and text will be white then it will be a, a little bit of rounded then on focus outline will be none now you can see here we can see this icon here so it matches our theme color yeah okay it's here now when we click on this so there are uh, there is no articles router yeah we haven't defined that so it is giving the, an empty page so now if we go here so everything is working nice so now if we go here yeah, and see all the list now let us see this in the responsive section yeah now you can also see here it's looking good I think this uh, is a little bit more margin over here yeah so if we go ahead and look here like this and here so this is the flex it is giving mar margin top from here and this is coming from the gap we can reduce this gap yeah from between this uh, image and this category name also it is not taking the full width yeah you can see here so let us also give the full width to it we can say gap 2 here yeah so it is shifted a little bit top and we can say sm colispan 2 here and here we can say sm colispan 3 here so and let me remove this margin as well we don't need this margin here yeah now you can see here it is looking quite nicer yeah it is spanning through the full width yeah it's looking good okay guys so we have designed this articles uh, listing page here so we will be showing all the latest articles over here so in the future i think it is a little bit more gap here so we can add some sharing icons here to the facebook twitter yeah so those icons could be added here so we'll leave it for now okay in this video we'll be doing this much and in the next video we'll be designing the footer so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye